Hey everybody, this is Peter with Plumbing Express. Just welcome you back to getting us the opportunity to inform you a little bit about plumbing in your life. Also too, this is one that's dealing you with construction a little bit more. So this one we're specifically talking here about permits. That's a question we get all the time from folks. They call and they say, hey, I'd like you guys to do this. Do we need a permit for that work? Or we've gone there and we're telling them we are going to perform some work for them needed for a repair or something like that. And their question is, do we need a permit? Well, one of the things I want to share with you is make sure you check with your local municipality. Unless you have a relationship with your plumber or your contractor that you know is doing a good job and doing it right for you, then an important thing for you to do is reach out to that local municipality, find out what their recommendation is of if you need a permit or not. Now, besides that, we also need to look at the aspect of why do we need permits? And there's some pros and cons of permits, and we wanted to go over those with you guys today. So one of the biggest pros we have is to protect you, the homeowner. You know, you obviously do whatever you do for a living. We are plumbers and gas contractors. There's other contractors out there, the electrical and HVAC, general contractors and all that. That means those guys are supposed to be knowledgeable in what they're doing. But unfortunately, there's a lot of people out there, they're not as knowledgeable as they think they are, and they take advantage of customers by giving them poor work and, re and uh, receiving money for it. Now, getting a permit for something is going to help protect you from that in a couple different ways. One is, it's going to make sure that if you're getting a permit, it's going to require that somebody who's properly licensed and insured is going to be engaged in doing that work with you. That's an important aspect because here in Florida, at least, we have licenses needed for doing work uh, in different aspects. And again, that's something you can check with our local municipality to find out what exactly they're looking for in that. Another thing that that also again does is it makes certain that not only are they licensed, but with licensing comes insurance. And that's an important aspect. If you have somebody that is working for you, you want to know that if they make a mistake and it's a bigger problem, they're going to have insurance to back up making that repair. Now, along with just regular insurance, a huge one here in Florida and in any other parts of America is workman's comp. If you employ someone to do work on your home, and they do not have workman's comp, and they get hurt, there's a very good chance they're going to sue you to get reimbursed for their uh, lost wages, their medical care, and stuff like that. So having a permit helps to protect, not just you finding that out, but it also makes sure that these people are going to have this type of stuff to be able to pull the permit. Then lastly, and this really is a, this really is a big thing of, right now, there's a, the con, one of the big cons of getting a permit is the hassle, right? The cost and the time. But this last pro is where it washes that away, and that's for down the road. Now, right now, you're living your house, you're enjoying it. That's probably your vision for quite some time. But eventually, you're probably going to sell that house. You may pass it on down to somebody else. But most importantly, when that does occur, there's going to be a change in hands. And that means that if there's not a public record for work that was done that was supposed to be permitted, there's going to be an issue when that sale happens. And if that occurs, you could be out tens of hundreds of thousands of dollars of work that was done to benefit the, the worth of that house in the transaction that's going to occur. So hope that's helped you guys out, giving you a good idea of why it is that it's worth dealing with the hassle of getting a permit. Yes, there's cost. Yes, there's time. You might have to get an engineer involved to make sure some structural work is done correctly. You might have to get a, a plumbing contractor involved to make certain that things are being sized correctly, that it's being put in and installed the right way. But even though there is a cost to go with that, that cost is far outweighed. The benefit, it far outweighs the little bit of savings right now, both really for as soon as the job's done and for years to come afterwards. So again, this is Peter at Plumbing Express. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have, don't forget, hit the subscribe button. And remember, help can always be on the way from Plumbing Express.